Welcome, welcome. Thank you, family friends, for joining me at What Else? Maria loves to talk. How you guys are doing? How you guys and Gail doing? Happy New Year. That's right, you guys. We are in 2024. I can't believe it, guys. Uh, I'm just glad to be here. I just thank, I know for the ones who are believers, I thank the man upstairs for giving me another day, another year. Thank you uh, to the Holy Father. I'm talking about the young lady in Fort Worth who unfortunately had to, uh, you know, we in Texas, she, she, she had to take out, she had to take out her protection. She had to get her Saturday night special out for a robber. Someone was trying to break in her home. Um, her man's not at home. Grandpa's not at home. Big brother's not at home. It's a, a poor little young mom. And her little babies, the little baby cubs, you know. You guys, I'm going to read bits of this. And I will also, like I always do, I will be showing you little comments, posts from people uh, who have their little 25 cents to say about this. So, again, this is extremely sad. So, I'm reading from uh, Daily Mail, my favorite place to go to. I would always look at this site even before I started YouTube. So here it says, Texas woman shoots 14-year-old boy after he tried to break in through her window while her four younger daughters were home. This young lady has four kids, and they all are basically, as we call it, stair-steppers. Um, this happened on December the 14th in Fort Worth. December the 14th? I don't think the kid... What, the kids was out of school yet for the holidays i don't think so so this is all from fox four so she's saying here uh, her name is Leah wallace and the little young boy prayers go out to him and his family and condolences it, i mean it's still sad no matter no matter how you look at it how you cut it it's sad so she said i'm devastated that he was 14 i hate that i literally do and i'm so sorry but at that point i had to think about my babies okay nice looking young lady i don't see her age i think she's like 24 25 she says here i called them at 1 22 a.m she talked for like 20 minutes they did a report took pictures of everything and then they left talking about so basically these kids it, he wasn't by himself Devin was was with some other uh young children some young boys teens i don't know her home was the only one that they were picking on or they were trying to break in uh it is a housing place or so she's on housing it looks like it's a duplex that's what it looks like it doesn't look like um and she's she is on section eight or housing so the young man comes back at this time, she said, so I went, I stood in the hallway. I could see him standing at the window, lifting it up. And she says, I just shot. So since then, I saw, I think last night we was looking at Charleston White and another young man. I think the show, his YouTube is called Smile or Smile Cheese. So they were at her house and she was saying, again, she's very remorseful. She's very sad. She didn't mean for it to happen the way it did. Uh, I don't remember seeing or hearing Charleston White and the other young man talking about it. Is they donating or giving her any money, any funds. I did check out her GoFundMe page right quick. So right now, as of today which is January the 9th, is $71,160. She, the goal was 50,000, 2,000 donations. Praise the Lord. Um, I think it should be more. Yeah, I'm saying that because we are in Texas, the home of billionaires, multimillionaires, and of course, our governor, Greg Abbott, tells people, get that gun. NRA tell people, get that gun. P 
people hooping and howling and screaming, get them thugs out of here. If you see them doing something, you can make a citizen's arrest. You can shoot. We just had a man uh, in another town, a city, shot a, a Hispanic man, shot a young black guy, robbing people with a fake gun. They didn't know if it was real or what. The man said once he realized it was fake and the dude had turned his back in a taqueria, he shot the guy. So what people were mad at is that he shot the guy, stood over the guy a second time and shot him. And his mom was crying, why did he shoot my child, blah, blah, blah. So they just did a, um, I guess, what is called dismiss. So he's not going to be charged. And I see this young lady, Miss Ali, is not going to be charged. So not the proceedings have been dropped against the Fort Worth woman who shot an intruder. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. Aaliyah Wallace shot and killed a would-be intruder December 14th. Fox 4 Sean Rabb reported this story. He's continued to follow it. Apartment management told Wallace she would be evicted for having a gun, which was prohibited by their lease. Sean's in studio with the latest update. Yeah, and those proceedings dropped, Clarice, after an attorney who advocates for renters' rights got involved, and a state representative questioned whether Wallace could be evicted. The evictions ended, but the ordeal is not over. The fact that there will not be an eviction on her record um, gives her some time to figure things out and decide where she goes next, and um, a little bit without suffering the penalties that come with an eviction, in, in this case, an illegal one. Aaliyah Wallace was notified after shooting someone trying to break into her federally subsidized home, who turned out to be a 14-year-old, that she was going to be evicted. The apartment called and told me that I was not supposed to have a gun at all, even though I kept calling them and telling them somebody was breaking in. They told me I could not have a gun and that I have 30 days to vacate. State law, though, says otherwise. And our reports caught the attention of Central Texas Republican State Rep. Carrie Ising. It may be very angry. No one should be denied their Second Amendment right just because they live in public housing. Attorney Mark Melton explains why it was important Wallace not be evicted. When people are evicted, it goes on the record, and it's almost impossible for them to find new housing in other places, especially if they're in any kind of a public assistance um, housing facility. Um, an eviction really does ruin their life. Wallace won the eviction battle, but understandably doesn't want to stay with her four girls where this happened. That's another problem. Across the entire United States, there is a severe shortage of affordable housing units. And in Texas, we're one of just a handful of states in the country that don't require landlords to accept vouchers. And so the most landlords just don't take them. So even if we have vouchers and money available to pay for the rent, there just aren't units out there for people to move into. The Dallas Eviction Advocacy Center has helped about 15,000 families in Dallas County facing eviction since pandemic. Aaliyah Wallace's case, like no other. This one was just such a clear-cut violation of her rights uh, under state law that we just had to intervene. Now, Fort Worth police filed no charges against Aaliyah Wallace, sending the case to a Tarrant County grand jury. When that grand jury decides whether she faces any criminal charges for protecting her family, we will bring that to you. In the video, I'm seeing the young man's mom and she's saying that she wants justice. She wants somebody to be charged. She wants somebody to go to jail. Uh, this is uh, WFAA, the mother of a 14-year-old allegedly shot and killed by a neighbor in December, says there is more to the story. What, what, what is there more to the story? I'm thinking like everybody else is thinking, what is a 14 year old? I can't tell how tall he is. He's not a big guy. He's kind of thin. What are you doing out at one in the morning? I think somebody said on another side, that's a school night. He should have been at home getting ready to sleep or be sleeping for the next day. As much as my mom get on my nerves, bro, I love her. Like, I, like, I love you, mom. Like, mom, mom, I love you! This is the video Fort Worth mother Latoya Landers watches to stay strong. It's her 14-year-old son, Devin Baker, who was shot and killed before Christmas. My son was so hilarious. He would make somebody laugh every day. 
and that's what we miss here the most. LaToya still has a lot of unanswered questions about her son's shooting death here at Pepper Tree Acres Apartments. Fort Worth police say their neighbor, Aaliyah Wallace, shot and killed Devin outside her home when she feared someone was trying to break in. It happened at 3 a.m. December 14th as LaToya and the rest of the family were asleep. And my little ones sleep in the back. My teenagers sleep in the living room, so he have free access to leave out the door without us knowing. According to police, Aaliyah Wallace says she fired to protect her family from an unknown person outside her daughter's bedroom window. Latoya says she has turned over new information to police that shows Devin knew Aaliyah Wallace and her children. And my son knew Leah. When my son would get out of school, Leah kids would run to Devin to embrace him on his way from school. Devin's mother hopes a further investigation will provide her more answers about the shooting. I don't even know what really happened. That That's a lot for me to deal with mentally. Fort Worth police say the incident is an ongoing investigation. Sources tell WFAA the case will likely go to a grand jury to determine if the shooting was... He should have been at home at night studying for the finals. Parents, why are you not watching or paying attention to your kids? Why are they targeting? Because at this point, they are targeting. She said her home had been broken into four times. Why are you targeting this single mom of four little girls? Why are you targeting in this house? Did somebody pay them or tell them to go pick on her? I know she told Charleston White when I watched the video last night that her um, husband or kid's father uh, is uh, in jail. She didn't elaborate. Hey, I'm nosy. I would have asked her. I would have asked, you know, what is he in for? When is he coming out? I probably would have asked, you know, being a woman, you know how we are. You know, we nosy. Is he the father of all four of her kids? Because she got the new baby that's barely one. She got one about two or four, and then she's got one that's seven and eight. So he was trying to break into the eight-year-old bedroom. Why? It almost, I don't want to go there because, you know, I have that, you know, Elvis Presley, you know, I'm thinking his song, Suspicious Minds. You know, you've got people that's out here, and you and they start young, young men. That's how it gets started. They start off young molesting, that's right, I'm going there, messing with little girls, touching little girls or touching little boys, that's how I start, and then he grows and grows, grows, okay, uh, so let's say what, see what mom, the mother is saying, because I'm wondering why was he, why were they picking on this woman, why, why, did they pick on the neighbor, the woman in the duplex next door, did they pick on her, her home, and also, we're going to get into what happens now. No one's talked about it. That's why I'm kind of upset. I feel like the people should, this girl's money, GoFundMe, should have been at least 150000 Yes, we're in Texas, and people just hooping, howling, crying about, get your gun, shoot, get these studs, get these hooms off the street. Get these people off of welfare. Get these women off of food stamp. Well, this is y'all time now, NRA and all these gun supporters, to shine and help this woman out because she will eventually lose her house in Section 8. She will eventually lose her food stamps. She will eventually lose her Medicaid. And we're going to go over that because I'm nosy, you guys. I already went and looked at the uh, resource limit because there's a limit on all those things. And she probably should have put that in her mother's name or somebody's name and not her name. No, I, I don't. But when I used to work cases, I told you I was a state employee. I would, I wasn't supposed to, but when some, with some people, I could see they really needed help. I would, I would try to help them out and tell them how they needed to do, how they needed to work their little cases to get, you know, to get where they needed to be. Okay, mama, Miss Latoya. So Devin knew Miss Aaliyah and her children. You do not go to Miss Aaliyah house at 3 a.m. in the morning, opening her child's bedroom window. You don't go to anybody's house at 3 a.m. in the morning, not no little 14-year-old boy. 
and her husband, her boyfriend is not there. I could see if he went at 3 p.m. during the day and he knocked on the front door and said, hey, Miss Aaliyah, I'm hungry. Can you give us some apples? Can you give us some uh, tater tots? Can you give us some fruit of loops? Can you, I, I don't know, can you give us a sandwich? Can you, can you loan me a dollar? Uh, where's Mr. Uh, what is the man? What's, where's Mr. Wallace? Okay, so you know, it's a lot of people know me. You better not bring your butt up at my house at no 3 a.m. Because I got something for you, baby. And we're going to be just like we in a horror movie, okay? And it depends on how we feeling. I might not even call the COP. Might not even call them. She was nice. She called. Some people wouldn't have even called because they don't want to be about that life. And they don't want to get a record. They would have just put everything in the, in the car, in the trunk, drove out to a bio or something. You know what else would happen. Nobody would have known a damn thing. I said, go. The truth. There's this story. or There's this lie. There's this lie. And then there's the truth in the middle. It seems like, and yes, I'm burning my my instance y'all and i'll do a separate video because this is the first of the year and you got to clean your house not just clean house sweep vacuum mop but you got to bless your house with you know sage burning salt saying your prayers the rosary get your um holy water whole uh bless it all from the priest or you know your, your pastor but getting back to the slave she it's like a lot of parents. She's in what you would call, she's in denial. Everybody, same thing with the lady where the young man uh, was shot by the Hispanic man in the taqueria because the mama kept saying she wanted charges to be put on that Hispanic man, that Mexican man, that he was wrong and he did this and he did that and da da da. And um, the parents are in denial because I'm still stuck on stupid. I'm still. Uh, pretty much agreeing with the lady that I, I was looking at a post kept saying and nobody caught this and I, I only saw that one lady and you know I was thinking it because you know I'm suspicious okay and I kept thinking why was this man this young man going through so since he knows the family he knows the layout out of the house meaning he knew that that was that woman Aaliyah's child's bedroom window why were you trying to come through there we've already known we've already seen young men the fathers the mothers catching them in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning at their kids in the kids house in the closet under the bed blah 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 we've seen that we've seen where the father confront the dude the dude shoot delete the father we've seen that we've seen where the, the father confront the dude the father deletes the guy blah blah we've we've seen those the child in question is A, and I think Aaliyah said she got one nine, and then she got the two other little stair steppers. He knows, just like she told Charleston White, her kid's dad is in jail right now. Why are you over there? You came at one, y'all ran off, and the police came, and the police didn't see anything, the police left, and then you come back? You come back at 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning? No, 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 no. This case kind of remind me of the case in Wisconsin a couple of years ago. I know y'all remember it was right around the holidays. Elderly white man. Home kept getting broken into. He didn't know who was doing it, who was messing with him. The kids, two little young white kids, two cousins, a girl and a boy, teenagers broke, broke in his home from upstairs and when he came downstairs he had his gun and he shot the boy right there and then I think the boy deleted right there on the stairway and then the girl started laughing and giggling and, and daring him like you're not gonna shoot me you're not gonna shoot me ha, 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 ha. and he shot her he never called the cops he went to Thanksgiving dinner the next day at some neighbors down the street and I guess he got emotional and he fessed up and told him what he did and they called the cops. I told you again and again and again, we can't sleep on the teenagers. Don't go to sleep on these teenagers of today. 
Don't close your eyes on these teenagers, even the little ones, 10, 12 years old. Keep one eye open. It's unfortunate it happened, but um, something is not adding up. The mother of Devin, she right. Something's not adding up. It's not on Miss Aaliyah's end. It's not on her end because she's doing what she's supposed to do. She at home with her babies. She scared. I don't know if anybody knows what the feeling is like. I know what the feeling is like. I've, I've, I've had that feeling being alone in a home by yourself. She's in a little small, you know, government apartment. I've had that feeling being in a big house by myself. And you can feel, and when you know the layout of your house, you know when somebody's messing with your door, if it's the back door, it's the door in the kitchen. I've had that feeling. I know what it feels like to get on the phone and call the cop and, and, and count and wonder how long or how many steps it's going to take for that person to get to your room or whatever, or who or do they have somebody with them? And she was lucky that she had a gun. I didn't have a gun. A lot of the people that these things happen to, they don't have a gun. They don't have a pistol. Okay. Uh, prayers go out uh, for this young man because, again, he's a child. He's 14. He didn't get to live his life. He will never get married. He will not ever have kids. He will not go to college. He will not be there for his other siblings or for the mother when she gets old. But I'm sorry. Y'all kids going to have to learn you can't, you a kid stay in a kid's place. When you stay, when you get out of a child's place, as my grandparents used to say, we're going to have to deal with you as an adult. You're not a child anymore. We're going to have to deal with you one-on-one. -on -one. So don't pick up, oh, I'm a kid, I'm a kid. Or some of these women who like to fight, physically fight men or whatever, provoke men. Oh, he hit me. Oh, he did this to me. I'm a woman. How dare you do this to me? I'm a woman. I'm a chick. You, you, you can't play two sides, both sides. Something does not smell right, does not look right, but they've already dropped the charges. No charges on her. She gets to stay in her apartment, but hey, will she get to stay in her apartment? So right quick, fast forward, I looked it up. Anytime you're on food stamp Medicaid, there's a thing called resources. Anytime a person, an elderly person is, is trying to get into those um, Medicaid, Medicaid, Medicare, that's a resource. Uh, you're trying to get into those those nursing homes, blah, blah, blah. There's the resources. I've seen, because I had friends that did the, the the old folks' home. I used to do food stamp, Medicaid. I even had to wick. Uh, the only thing I didn't do, I didn't do housing, but I had friends that did the housing and some friends that worked Social Security. All those things, there's a resource. What that means, it means that you might can't have over $2,000 in your bank. You might not be able to have a home and a rental, rental house. You might not be able to own a boat. So with them uh, giving her $71,000 on the GoFundMe, I looked that up and somebody, please correct me if I'm wrong. It said 5,000 is a cap, 5,000 resources. That money in that GoFundMe or in her bank account, that's a resource. It's not the income because we know she just doesn't work. She told Charles and why she's trying to go back to school, but she don't know what she's going to go to school for. Looked like she even had complained a little bit. She didn't know the people was going to have her picture all over because her hair wasn't fixed up. And this time when she did her little interview with Charleston White and the guy from Say Cheese, she had a little hair fix. She had her little baby curls. You know, I ain't mad at her. I, I, I'm glad that this young woman and them babies are safe and nothing happened to them because they could have got hurt. They could have got deleted. They could have got shot. They could have got, I don't know, hey, maybe, I don't want to say it, think it, but you know, it is what it is. They could have been molested. I don't know. We've had cases where teenage boys, black, white, blue, Hispanic, break into a home and m molest all the kids, attack the mom and the children. We, we, we seen that. I just saw something. Uh, I think it was in Florida. The D Dunbar Apartments. A Haitian woman and her 10-year-old son was attacked by some teenagers doing what Devin and his friends was doing. They was just targeting her, just picking on her. She was the only one they were just picking on. 
And there was another one too a while back. But getting back to Miss Aaliyah, those things have a resource. So yeah, they're not going to kick her out, but unfortunately she will eventually have to leave. You got 71000 and something to go fund me. You're not going to, I mean, why would you want to stay on housing or Section 8 anyway? The only thing is she's not going to be able to qualify based on what I'm looking at. For the Medicaid for the kids or for food stamp, but hey, why would you need food stamp? You got seventy one thousand dollars, and I'm really, I'm really believing and standing on uh, the 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 rich uh, people we have here in Texas, the really friendly people who are are so concerned about the babies, the moms, and and y'all don't want people to have abortions and all that stuff. That y'all would up that to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars because the average. Decent home is about a hundred thousand dollars. Where is she gonna go with seventy one thousand seventy one thousand dollars for a house? You can't find a decent home for seventy one thousand dollars, y'all. Keep it real. Keep it real. You can't. You can't. Did I leave anything out? I probably did. Um, what what can we learn from this? You got to stay prayed up with this man or the Virgin Mary on your side, you need to have your security cameras. You need to, I got, and, and she did to me, um, I hate that that happened, but she did everything that I've been telling y'all when I do these stories, these crime stories. The self-defense, she had her protection. She didn't have a little pepper spray because we know those things don't work. She didn't have a little flimsy little knife. She, she had that, that, that metal, that Glock or whatever. And, and these days, the way these people are hyped up, they are all these different drugs. Or, uh, that's not the case with this child, this young man, but there are cases. And even the police will tell you, the police don't even want to mess with it because the police will be like, when they hyped up on uh, alcohol, drugs, PCP, whatever, the tasers don't work on them. The pepper spray don't work on them. The only thing will stop these people is the Glock, unfortunately, it's sad. Uh, young lady, Lee, I know you probably ain't gonna watch this video. Please, 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 please move. Please, please, please check in to one of those work source, workforce places. Get you uh, some training. Let them send you somewhere to get get your schooling because you you do. You're a mom of four kids. You need to be a role model to your children. We know that you are a strong protector. You are a strong um mother uh mama bear okay but they you need to you're young you, you need to go on back to school huh get your your college degree get a trade with that type of money you and your mom or grandma can start your own uh business but don't give that man your money i don't i don't know what baby daddy's in jail for don't give that man your money <laughs> don't Take that money, put some outside for the kids, put the rest, go get your little house or mobile home on a little lot somewhere and go on back to school. Um, but I hope that um, these other kids, they know how fortunate they were, how lucky they were. And please change your lives around and don't be out at night, two and one o'clock, three o'clock, roaming the streets, breaking into people's homes. Because it's not going to end good for you. It's not going to end well for you. It's, it's not. Not even for a grown man. Prayers go up to Miss Aaliyah and the babies. Um, to the donors that gave, donated to her. Prayers to them. Uh, prayers for um, Devin's mom and his soul. Uh, rest in peace in her and for her children. You guys, uh, stay strong. Uh Give, give me those comments. Say blessed, healthy, stay strong, keep your resolutions, stay strong on your re resolutions, bless your house with your sage. So it's not just cleaning, but you need to bless your house, bless your kids, your man, and bless your car. Maybe you say prayers, blessings over your dog. So again, I want to thank you so much for joining me at What Else Maria Loves to Talk.